Yo. So what's going on? Yeah, it just said it, man. Inform you on something, man. Huh? Like, it, I said, I just said to let you, you know, pull your foot on something. Shit, this out. My sister just called me, right? Yeah. And she just said, you know, somebody just in her, um, in her school, her school system, you know, said her colleague, you know, said went and, and changed her ethnic from from black to white, which she's is really black. Yeah. And she said, ever since she done that, you know, what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Her credit scores is good, everything. She gets things that she never had before. Just because she wouldn't change the color, you know what I'm saying? It says she's not black, she's white. Wow. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Then she went and got her social security number. She said this was, that's what ties every race, you know what I'm saying? That's what ties the race is social yeah, security. Yeah, it is, it is. I put that in a video before. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And she said, um, you know, black is something that is whatever. Like, well, I, well, I mean, I know that, you understand, but the whole thing about it is, you know, it's, it's how they make it so obvious to go and do shit, you know what I'm saying? And people are, and people are really catching on to this shit. But my whole thing is, once they catch, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? like, what what can be the repercussion behind that, though? It, it can't be because um, if it changed simply because she put white, then that... You know, if they say, well, you've done this, and then she could say, well, you, you discriminated against me. So I'm going to bring a lawsuit against you. So you know, right. there's really nothing they can do about that. You it's know, um, and then she, uh, her, her argument can be, um, well, you know, I'm Moorish, and we identify as, you know, white people, you know, not you know, dealing with anything with color, anything like that. I mean, there's a lot of ways that you could um, really argue that if they try and say something. But it's really nothing they could really say because that would be exposing the fraud. Right, 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 right. Yeah, there's nothing they could really say. So she hit me up and let me know. She said, I'm going to change my stand. I mean, I'm going to change <laughs> my... Um... <laughs> no, but that, hey, yo, but that just kind of proved, man, what the Moors and people were saying, man. Like, you know, if you list your status as white, you know, you get way more credibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it is, it's just something about them cats because... There's something about their movement, man. They make me they're not really doing nothing. But I understand yeah, I know. I know. that part. Just tore. Yeah, yeah just I understand. Tore. I understand that part right there, though, because you know I bet you Mark have yet to go do that shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, me said she gonna do it as soon as she have a baby. She gonna listen her baby as white. You know what I'm saying? As if she could change the, you know, all her other kids. She put them as white. Uh, yeah. You know, she hit me a while ago. She said, "Yo, bro, I'm gonna do it." You know what I'm saying? My colleague did it in, in school, and she did every. Oh, she got everything. She got everything because in the uh, she saying in the Webster in the dictionary they say we well, use legally um when they put their uh citizenship they only got white race they only they only. Yeah. Uh, it's just dealing with status. It just goes back to status. Like what's your status? Yeah, we were talking about that yesterday. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you, you know, you you just never told me the fact that you know you could just go ch change your shit from black to uh, white on your shit. You know what I'm well, saying? I mean, people people actually done that to get job interviews, and then when they got the um the person say, oh, oh I was looking for a white um person, and then you know um I had a friend. He said, well, if I had listed white, you probably wouldn't have called me in for the job interview. He didn't try and debate it, but I mean, they couldn't interview him. But he, he said, you know, I kept listening black. I wasn't getting um, selected for no interview, so I put white. And then right, I got right, quotes. Right. So, yeah, what you going to do? Unless yeah, but status still, is white, you, 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 you know, you get a lot of more favoritism. Yeah, but the whole thing about it, they still, when they find out that he's, you know what I'm saying? But it's nothing not, they could do. Because then you could argue that, well, I am white. Um, we're talking about status. We're not talking about color. You could argue right. that I'm not a color. You know what I mean? It's nothing that yeah. they could do. There's nothing they could lawfully do because I'm telling you, when you go and look up status, like, and, and you know, as far as that is concerned, it's going to be listed as white to have any kind of status. Yeah. Uh, it's nothing yeah. they could do, not lawfully, illegally. All right. All right. I'm in here at work. I just had to let you know that, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> she right. ass about that shit, too. She... <laughs> yeah, All yeah, right. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. Hello. 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 
Hey, how you doing, brother? Hey, I'm sure to reach brother Pullen. Uh, say that one more time, bro. I'm trying to reach Mr. Phillips, NY. Yes, this, this is he. This is he, bro. This is uh, Yes, sir. Um, yeah. Sir, you, you sent me an email. I don't quite understand. You said I got this today, but you didn't say exactly what you got. What oh, are you talking about, brother? Um, it was acknowledged, uh, filing acknowledgement from Department of State in New York. So, so then, yeah, I mean, you're pretty much a secured party creditor. Now, the next question is, what are you going to do about it, sir? Bro, I'm going to have to donate to you so you can just train me on what exactly. I watch all your videos, bro. I promise, like every day. Like every single day. I'm watching them. You know what I mean? The. And I, I get some of it, and there's some I just don't get or understand. That's all it is. And I keep watching them, keep watching. And I don't know how to go and just, okay, now that I am a secure party creditor, what do I do? Do I um go, how do I discharge debt? Um, I was asking you about the um, child support. They don't have any contract with me. Um, They put me on a default order. And they proceeded without, they proceeded, but they served my father a paper and they said that that was good for serving. And well, I didn't even know I was on it for three years. Well, so I tried stopping. Well, you know. um, um, you have to look at the statutory, um, colorable laws in that state and, um, see what it says. Can they, um, is it a state like Virginia where they could actually just affix something to the door? Or if some third party um, accept it for you and say that he could actually um, get it to you, then they may consider that as actually being served. But, um, they, they say how, that was good enough because it was a, that was the last known address for me and somebody signed, so that okay. was good enough for them. And who's they? Um. Child support, the sheriff, um, sheriff said that, the child support said that. Well, let me, I, let me ask a more um, rational question since you're actually um, a secure party creditor. Um, who exactly am I talking to here? This is Anwar, the man. Anwar, the man. Okay. Now, Anwar, the man, uh, are you meaning the man, like, the man, like he's the man, um, like the, no, the, the man the that comes around. The, man. Okay, the living, breathing man. Okay, okay. Now, did they serve Anwar? Or can they serve Anwar? Um, and if they can serve Anwar, then Anwar must have an, an address for him to be served. Is that correct? That's correct. All right. So now. Enwar, as far as I know, is a debtor. He's the straw man. He's the corporate construct. So, you know, the living soul cannot be served with anything. Now, this is why it's extremely important that I always emphasize that people really need to understand who they are, where they live, and what's their country. Now, if you're Enwar, the debtor, then yeah, they probably did serve you through your father. Because you consented to be in the debtor, and you create joinder with the debtor, and you took the place of being the debtor. Now, as far as Anwar, if he's really a creditor, and he's the living soul, then how can you serve any kind of physical um, paper to a living soul? That can't be done, right? Uh, a, 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 spi be done. a spirit is something that's not physical. You can't see it. Right. Because when a person dies, the real man actually exits the body and the soul and spirit lives on. So it's only that temple that's dead. So the real Anwar should reside within the confines of his skin and in his body, not at whatever address that they claim to have served you at. And it's important that you understand that so you'll actually be able to differentiate between Anwar the debtor or the accommodation party that's acting for Anwar or, 
you know, the authorized representative that's acting for Anwar, but he's not Anwar. Now, Anwar has an address. Anwar has a bank account. Anwar has a checking account. But I, the living soul, don't have any of that. I'm just his authorized representative. I'm just the accommodation party. So anytime that they try and say, well, we serve you and so and so, well, I conditionally accept your offer upon proof of claim that I am not an accommodation party for and war. I'm here as intervener, but that's not me. So as long as you don't allow them to create joinder, then there is no contract. So what I would do, if there's some alleged debt already out there, what I would do in your position, I would actually accept it for value. I would send them a remittance um, in accordance with HJR 192 and Public Law 7310, since there's no real money, so or gold in circulation, then I can right. give them a remittance because that's what they're giving me when they give me Federal Reserve notes because the definition of money clearly tells me that it does not embrace notes. It cannot be a note. doesn't matter if it's a um, Federal Reserve note, a promissory note, they're all notes and they're not real money. So it's the same thing when you give them a remittance and they can't tell you which type of payment that you have to give them <laughs> according to UCC 3-603. It says as a, if a tender of payment is actually given to someone and they accept it, there's discharge. But also according to UCC 3-603, if a tender of payment is given to them, if they don't accept it, there is still discharge if the party that's making the tender is authorized to do it. And I contend you've been in the status of a creditor has the authority to do that. So now you must stop behaving like a debtor and making statements and starting to ask questions to everything that they ask you. We never make statements as creditors because we can't prove anything. Because when you make a pr statement, the next thing you're going to tell you to do is prove it. You can't, how are you going to prove it? So we don't make statements. Mm -hmm. We ask questions. That way we stay in the position of a king. And the king has authority. The king's the ruler. Right. So that's right. It doesn't really matter what they claim or they allege that they've served you with. But it's all a game. And this is why I emphasize learning contract law. If you learn contract law, you'll see it's all a game. It's all a game. Right. And it's all about right. commerce. Commerce and contracts. If you could understand the contract, then you understand it all. Um, like you said, see, what, you, what you don't I have mean, no contract with me. Unless you go in, right. show up, and give them oh. validity. Well, well, did we serve you when, you know, they start playing war games with you with legal lease? And you think that you actually got served because you don't know that you, you are not right. the man. Exactly. You're the living soul. Yeah, you, you reside within the confines of the skin of Anwar, but you don't live at that address. That just happens to be one of the domiciles that you may find you from time to time. On different uh, occasions, they could f find you at a different domicile, but... You live right. within the confines of your skin. You live within your body, not at some address. Oh, I get that. I totally get that. Right. So what I called down there because, of course, my license is suspended. So hold on, hold on. my license is suspended. So I um um uh, I called down there to speak with the lady and to find out why it was suspended and how did they proceed without, um, how did they proceed without me on my day in court? And um, she said, well, you were served. And I was like, no. And, and she said, um, I said, well, how do I get my license back? She said, well, you need to pay 
nine hundred dollars for three months back back payment or something. Of of said, what? Uh, of so called child support? <laughs> yes. So I mean yeah, right. now let, let me let me just stop you. This just show you how the state is all in cahoots. Now, what is the Department of Motor Vehicle has to do with child support? Not a damn thing. But it just shows you it's all about commerce. I, I asked her that exact question. I <clears> asked her that. She didn't give me a clear explanation on that either. Well, I mean, but th the picture that I'm really trying to get you to see is that they're trying to entrap you because since it's supposedly illegal to have a debtor's prison in America, they can't say that they locked you up for own money. They would say that you disobeyed a court order, so now you're in contempt of court. So that's what they're trying to lead it to, so they're trying to accumulate some kind of debt. But remember, according to HJR 192, brother, you could debt discharge a set of debts. So what I would do is say, um, could you just render me the original charging instrument so that I can set off set on close this matter now? Okay. That's how I would hand it out. Okay. So once the back, you know, um, so-called child support, because we never admit to owing anything, how could we owe anyone anything um, on the public side if there's no real money? If money was taken out of circulation, how could I owe you anything? You created the debt. Right. So I don't know. I don't owe you anything. I have an obligation to take care of my son or daughter, but you don't have a right to tell me how much I need to take care of my son or daughter. See, that's known as allegory. That's known as dictatorship. They do that for a reason. It's all a game. This is how they keep the prisons in the world confined and keep us going in, you know, like cattle. Right, right. I asked her, I said, how? Uh, she said, well, you have to sign a deferral. Pay, a deferral. I said, what does it have on there? Is that a contract? Because you guys have no contract with, with me. Uh, she said, well, it has, uh, it acknowledges your obligations. I said, does it refer to me as an obligor? And she said, yes. I was like, well, I'm not an obligor. I'm a man. Right. I'm a living <laughs> and breathing man. She got mad, bro. And basically, she's like, well, look, you can either pay it or don't. It doesn't matter. And she but started the, being real. The, the way that I would handle that is I would get the original charging instrument. If they say it's nine, I probably would give them 1200 um, set off the debt. Um, once it's, you know, um, I'll give him like 14 days to respond, maybe 10. Um, you know, by right, man should give 10. Three days for the mail to get there. Three days, um, you know, for them to actually, because it takes 72 hours for the transaction of a security entrance. So I give three days for the mail to get there. Three days for that transaction of a security entrance to take place because we have 72 hours of returning anything, then three days for them to mail, them, mail back, which is nine days and a Sunday. So I give them 10 days. Okay. And that way I stand on it. So and if, they don't said, if they don't respond in 10 days, then I, hey, you're in default. You've accepted this. Now, she, she said that I was in arrears of up to $14,000. And the only way to even think about it, and I said, well, how was that? How was that such an order given? And she said, that order came by way. First I asked her, I said, is this a civil matter? Is this civil? And she said, yes. I said, okay. Well, how did you get the order to, um, to how did you get a contract for me to pay anything? She said it came by way of the superior court. And if I have any problems with that, I would have to contest it. Well, contest brother, the order. I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't um, get caught up into any of the merit or with the alleging that I owe. I would just ask for the original charging instrument and set it off. I, I know someone that discharged $40,000 in child support. So I would just ask for the original charging instrument and set off the debt. That's what I would do okay. and be done with it. And for uh and um by the way bro you go ahead and send me um 
send me a uh, uh, the consultation fee to my email, and I'll go ahead and take care of that while we're speaking. So, um, and send it to uh, the Anwar A N W T H I L L three at Outlook dot com, and I'll take care of that. Um, so I call Jim back, and and I call her and ask her to send me the original charging instrument. You said you did do that? And, no, I said this is... I'm yeah, yeah, that's, a, that, that's what you do. That's what I do. Right. Can she refuse, can she refuse that to me? No, why would she? Just say, I want to... I mean, the only thing you're going to ask for is I want something, st- you know, stating the total amount that I... that you claiming that I owe. Never mention on anything that you are alleging that I owe. So right. I can set off, set on close this matter. Trust me, she'll she'll send it. They have no problem with sending that. Just say I want, oh, okay. um, uh, you know, a total um, a, a statement with the total amount that you're alleging that I owe. So I can sit okay. off, set on close this matter. I'll do that, and once I get that instrument, I will contact you back to make sure I execute it properly. Right, uh, and, and okay. I will. I will also, yeah. I will also, um, whoever's um, claiming that you owe this, um, um, I, I would ask for the, um, the pretty much overseer, the chief financial officer. Um, if it's the state um, of Georgia, then that's usually going to um, go back to federal because child support is really a federal thing. They just actually pay the state to go after people, but it's the federal government right. that's actually doing it. Oh, okay. So ask her for the original charging instrument. Right. And she's going to send that. Ask her ask for the CFO to send that to me. Well, just find out who's actually bringing it. It's probably the. It, it, I, I want to know if it is it the um, is it the parent of you know your son or daughter or is it the state that's yes. actually. Well, yes. That's what the that's what the um paper that they served my father with says. It says it actually says I'll send you a picture of that as well so you can just look at it. It says that it says my son versus me. It doesn't even mention her name on that paper. How old is your but son? I know she's the one <laughs> he's eleven. Yeah, I mean that's easily um defeated because I mean you would actually ask to have your son on the stand. So um, it doesn't say the state of Georgia or anything versus you? It doesn't. It says, it actually says. It's weird. My, yeah, it actually says my son against me versus me. So That's weird ha- to do. Has she, has she ever um, filed any um, public assistance or anything like that? Has she ever gotten any of that? She, she says she hasn't, but. Oh, well, not, then it, it, may be, it may be her just bringing that because if she had gotten that, then it would be the state coming after you. Oh, so, yeah. She she went and filed for that. She's the one that did it. Uh, She's the one. I know that for a fact. Yeah, so, you know, um, I guess this dates back to what, maybe seven, eight years, maybe? Two, no, not even. 2012. Oh. It was done out of malice and, and, and hatred. Yeah. That's what it was done. It wasn't done because I wasn't taking care of my son. Right. That's not right. the case now. So, um, it's you versus her. Um, is um, is there any kind of um record or anything that you know you was sending your son like money orders or anything like that? No, it's not. I mean, I never. Felt the need to have to keep those kind of records, being that the whole family takes care of them, including myself. He's at my house now. He's yeah. with us every weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We get a sixty dollar allowance every week. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's, what, real, what, what, it's, what, it's really evil in nature, bro. It's just evil. But when you got vampires out, nothing to do with money. When you got vampires out there like that, you, you still got to, you know, watch your back. But I could understand it because I've been through the same thing, you know, you know, right. some years back. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I feel you. I definitely feel you on that. But, 
Yeah, brother, I think you will be able to um, beat that, especially if it's her, you know, try and bring it, um, you know. I, I, you know, um, I, I don't, you know, if you never got served with any of that, and, never. you know, you um, They don't have my signature on anything. They don't have my signature on anything. Yeah, I definitely would um, dispute that. Trying to get it dismissed. Yo, 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 go ahead. Bye, brother. I'm, I'm about to try and run in here and um, set up this um, machine, but I'll mm -hmm. talk to you. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. So, my first step is to go ahead and ask her for. Hey, Trudy, I'm going to grab that for you. I'm going to call you right back, okay? Uh, very important phone call. All right. Yeah, um, so my first step is to go ahead and ask for the original charging instrument. Right. Do that. But you say I discharged that debt. They would still have that order against me, wouldn't they? Okay. I'm, 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 I'm. Yeah, what was that last part, brother? I said, uh, even if I discharge it, um, they will still have the, the order against me, wouldn't they? Yeah, I mean, if there's such an order. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, um, because I, I really want to dis I want to dissolve the whole situation where they just leave me alone, bro. So yes. I guess what I would have to do is contest it and go into court and, and know how to handle myself in that court. Yeah. Yeah, brother. So, yeah. That, that's actually what, you know, you would have to do and try and actually get that discharge. Okay. Yeah. So if I if I if I so what I'll do is I, I will call back them back on Monday and I'll ask them for that and then um once I receive that um I'll contact you back through email. Yeah. And um and we'll make sure we do do it make sure right. I do it right. All right. And then um I'll be getting back with you on, on how to just dissolve this whole thing and get it away from me. So this, it's not an issue of whether I take care of my offspring or not. <laughs> he's been he's at my house right now, bro. Yeah. Like I wish that he could go up on the stand because he'll quickly tell them or anybody that he's always been taken care of. But that's yeah. the truth. Yeah. It's not it's not about money. She's just being evil. Yeah. I, you know, if it was about money, if I were, if I was just one of those people that that didn't you know, handle their responsibilities, then I would actually deserve what's happening right now. But that's yeah. just not the case. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's just not the case. So definitely, bro, go ahead and send me that email, and I'm going to get back to work. And uh, when it I'm going to ask for that, and when they send that to me, I'll contact you again so I can handle that properly. All right, All right brother. We'll go from there. All right. All right, cool, man. All right.